All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are learning how to create uh, folders and documents and spreadsheets and everything else in Google Drive. Google Drive is essentially going to be your um, your hard drive, your flash drive, whatever drive you want it to be, to where you're going to store things. Okay, anywhere you have the internet, you have access to Google Drive. Okay. Also, it looks great on the iPad. So if you're using an iPad, the app is wonderful to use import, export, whatever you need to do. Okay, so you're in your email right here. Do to do, checking my email, lovely. Hey, welcome to Instagram. Okay, up here, you see these nine boxes right here, three by three. You just click that little fella. That brings up your recent, your apps, um, your Google apps, things you use. Right here is Drive, looks like a little, uh, little colorful um, recycling thing. So click that, that's gonna bring you into Google Drive, okay? It's the first time I've been into it. Google Drive lets you keep all your files within reach from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. Well, that's lovely. Okay, that's why I'm here, so that I can use Google Drive, okay? So, um, we don't have anything created. Let's create something, all right? Let's say you want to take notes for your, um, you're in ninth grade English, okay? So, I'm going to create a folder. The English, spelled correctly, English 9. You just hit create. Boom. You have a folder, okay? See this over here? That's where you can reach things like this. It pops down everything if you want. Okay, if you want to see a list of all the classes you have, let's create another one. Say you have one folder for civics. Create. Okay, so I have a folder. Um, so I've got two folders for that. Now, if at any time anyone shares anything with you and they want you to be a part of it, go to here to share it with me, and I'll have files in here. Okay, this is a brand new account, so it doesn't have anything. But once people share with you, you can just click and drag it over into whichever one of these you want and now that will be in your main drive. You don't have to go here to find it. They leave it here as like saying, oh this isn't important to me yet. But once you drag it over here, it's important to you, okay? So you're in your drive. Okay? Got it. Yes, you can see your activity. Thank you for reminding me. I don't want to. Now you can change the way you look. It looks. You can change the way you look. Um, just to paint your face. <laughs> just kidding. Alright, so you can change it list view or this view. Now on an iPad, I like this view. I think it's better, but once you get documents and stuff in there, this view is just easier, okay? Um, you're gonna see who the owner is and the last time you got in there and messed around with that thing. All right, now, <clears throat> once you have a lot of stuff in here and you forget where you've organized things, this search bar is phenomenal. It pops up everything that it has it in the title or if it's inside the document itself, okay? Now, let's say I want to upload something. All I do is click Upload, Files, and then I can select whatever file I want. Let's say I want this picture from uh, Tumblr. I want to upload that in there. Open. It's going to automatically upload it in there. Boop. It's right there. Okay. Once it's in there, I can change the name of it. Rename Tumblr 2000. Okay. And then I can drop it into whichever folder I want. This way or over here. Say so boop. That devolves the civics. Now, you're probably just getting started, so you're going to have notes in civics, okay? Say you're in civics, and the first thing you do in civics is um, the American Revolution, okay? And you're doing notes on your iPad, but you're working on your computer, or you're working, you've got two screens up on your computer. Hit Create, okay? This is a list of the things you can create. Say so you want to do a document. It gives me a blank document. This is essentially Microsoft Word, okay? First thing you want to do is change the title. You just click right here. It'll change the title. It'll be American Revolution. I just want to, evolution. let's just say American Revolution Notes. Okay, I want it to be organized. Boom, that's my title. All right, I start writing. A lot of important stuff happened. Cool. You can also put picture, drag pictures in here, drag and drop, etc. You've got your formatting stuff up here just like in Word. Okay, and you're done. This up here will take you back to your Google Drive. Okay, so you just click on that. This wants me to do this. I don't want to do it. It'll try to take you into your docs. Um, they've started separating docs, ex, um, spreadsheets, and all your other stuff um, to where you work on it on your own. So just go up to your tab, wherever it is up here, and it'll take you back to your stuff. Okay, so I can always go in and change it. I can drag and drop it somewhere else, whatever I want to do. Okay, it's a really good idea to take screenshots of stuff, um, drop it in here, notes, everything. Now, when you're working on stuff in your classes, like if you're working on something in another program, um, like Blackboard or Odysseyware or something like that, 
I always recommend typing it up first in here then just copy pasting what you wrote into your actual thing that way if something ever happens you always have it like if your computer times out after like 30 minutes and you're like oh I just submitted it and it timed out and I lost all the stuff for that thing uh, you should have copy pasted it into drive or started in drive and copy pasted it into your test okay that's just good practice now you're thinking Mr. Torver you wrote all this stuff and you never saved anything this up here see that boom it saves it automatically okay they even tell me that every time you make a change it saves it automatically now let's say you're working on a group project and you're like group project you click this right here share you can share this with anybody you want say I want to share it with Tyler Tarver Tyler Tarver Boop. shared it with him send he can see it now I can change his permissions oh say I want to work together with him boom he can edit it say I'm sharing it with a teacher I just want to say they can comment on it that way they can just make comments on what I did they can grade it, they can view it, that means they can't do anything to it, but look at it. Is the owner, that means that they're now in charge and they can tell me what to do, okay? Now, I can also, oh, I lost my ownership, so I'll make myself the owner again. Thanks, save changes. Okay, now also, you can make a link here to where you can send it and people can get to it, okay? It's just another little thing in Drive. So, in Google Drive, it is a great place to keep all of your notes for all your classes, all your stuff you're working on, okay? See, they're trying to put me in the Google Drive thing. That's fine, whatever. I understand what you're saying. I'm going back to my drive, bruh. I'm going back to my drive, okay? So I'm in drive. I've got my folders. The more organized you are, the easier it is going to be to find your stuff. I would do civics, and I would create another folder inside here. It says chapter one. And then I would put everything in that that I'm working on, and then make a chapter two. I'd even title it, what is it about? in chapter one. The more organized you are, the better it's for you. It's for you. Okay? So that's Google Drive.